Good morning. Some of you um, may be wondering, Matt, you're wearing the same clothes that you were in the last Tackle Talk. Did you film them back to back? To which my answer would be, no. Okay, yeah, I, I filmed them back to back. There's a reason for that. It's just, it's nice out. I got some decent lighting. Uh, the wind isn't too bad today. We're, I just got off the water again. It was a really good day. Uh, 44 incher in the bag can't be a Northwoods fish of that quality. No doubt about it. Um, so the, the tackle talk today that I kind of wanted to go over was comparing, um, the, the, the original assault sticks from chaos to the 2020 assault sticks from chaos. I I've been fortunate to get my hands on a few of the 2020s now, and I had used the original assault sticks for probably the last three years in a variety of, of models and, um, actions. So uh, I, I kind of wanted to talk about the pros and the cons of each um, and maybe just kind of clear up any sort of questions that people may have. Like if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully, if I can't answer them, hopefully I'll be able to find someone who can. Um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about that. Uh, the original assault sticks, I had three of those. I had a 9.6 shock and awe, a 9 foot shock and awe that uh, you'll be seeing a lot of <laughs> in these upcoming videos. A and a nine foot SWAT. Now in the 2020s, I have the exact same setups, nine six shock and awe, nine foot shock and awe, and a nine foot SWAT. At some point, I'll probably get a couple more 2020s in, in a few different actions for some more niche style presentations or, or maybe even a downsizer type presentation for the spring. But right now that's what I'm rocking. Um, so I want to talk first about, um, oh, it's just a dragonfly. It's a really big bug. Anyway, I wanted to talk first about the original assault stick. So this is the, the OG uh, SWAT um, assault stick. Nine foot telescopic. I really like the telescopic. I know that they're, the jury is out from some people. I was just listening to the TRO podcast and one of the guys they had on there made a point about how it creates a, a weak point in the rod, which I, I, I get where that logic is coming from, but for me personally, uh, the, the telescoping feature outweighs that uh, potential issue by uh, an astronomical amount just because of how many different guys I fish with, the amount of boats that I fish in. Um, like if I'm traveling somewhere to meet someone or I'm throwing my rods in someone else's vehicle, it just makes everything easier to have that telescoping feature built right into the rod. So with the original assault sticks, um, I love the action of all of, uh, all of the assault sticks. There's definitely uh, some of these, the, the action is better for certain applications than others. Like my SWAT, I definitely, I started using it some for bucktails, but I realized quickly that as you get past like uh, a stagger eight, nine, the, the bucktails, the, the thing with it is it kind of loads a little too much in the figure eight. So that was kind of what prompted the nine, six for me. But anyway, for the SWAT, uh, just, uh, just a pretty standard rod. I, I use it a lot for smaller rubber and, and like dive and rise type baits. Um, the, the nice thing about the original assault sticks definitely is the price point. Um, in my opinion, it's hard to find a better quality rod at the price point that is telescopic, uh, that, uh, the chaos original assault sticks have. That's the biggest like advantage to me. You can get a quality rod that fills a lot of voids, uh, and a lot of niches for you. Um, at a competitive price point. So like those are all really good things to consider. Um, one of the downsides of the original assault sticks um, is, is they are a little heavy, um, especially if you're, if you're doing like an all day grind where you're, you're out there, you know, 10, 12, 14, 16 hours, the original assault sticks will wear on you. And it's not just because it's not to say that they're bad or that they're super duper heavy. It's just over time that wear on your body just, it just, it just kind of compounds on itself. Um, but you know, it's, it's just one of those things too. Not everyone has the, the cash to spend on the 2020s. So you just got to weigh your own budget, your own options with what, um, with what works best for you. 
Um, you know, again, I'm very fortunate to have a, a few of the 2020s. Uh, I, I got to use Brian's for a little bit and that pretty much sealed the deal this spring, uh, especially uh, knowing the hours that I was likely gonna be putting in. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna transition here quick to the 2020 model. Okay, so here's my Assault Stick 2020. I got a Revo Toro rocket on there. Um, not intentionally matching it, but you know, it doesn't look, it, it looks kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, this is just the SWAT, standard SWAT um, in the 2020 series. Um, pretty much the same action that you would expect from the original models. Uh, the action is fantastic. I use this rod, I've used it a lot this spring this uh early spring slash summer transition for dive and rise like i've got a suic on there right now nine inch suic um uh, it throws those uh eight inch navins really well and i'll just grab this guy down here quick like like your your smaller to to mid-size dive and rise like this guy it does phenomenal with that um it does really well with even the 10 inch navins. Now, the thing that I would say is you're probably not gonna wanna go any, any um, dive and rise much over 10 inches with this because I think that that rod might load a little too much. But that's why I have the nine foot um, shock and awe is anything that it overloads this rod will work with the shock and awe. Um, so that's why I have that one. Um, and you can only throw one rod at a time. So, I mean. It just makes sense. Uh, the, the advantages of the 2020s. It's like the exact same thing as the original Assault Sticks, which are really, really great rods, but these things are like two thirds the weight of the original or one third less the weight of the original Assault Sticks, which may not seem like a, a lot. Like you're talking three ounces different between between blanks. So, um, the, the thing with that is, is that weight is carried through uh, the length of the rod. So if you're talking a, a nine, six rod, that three ounces all day long carried through the length of the rod, um, that, that really adds up over time. And I've noticed it too, even with the shock and awe, uh, I can fish that pretty comfortably all day long. Not that I couldn't do it in, in the past, but like, as I'm spending more time on the water, as I am aging and want to spend more time on the water, it's just, it makes more sense to have those lighter rods um, that can do the exact same thing as the other ones, but, you know, keep me in the game longer. The biggest disadvantage, in my opinion, to the Assault, uh, the, the 2020 Assault Sticks is definitely the price point um, at which uh, they, they are a pretty, a pretty premium rod. Again, it's one of those things too that you have to weigh. Like, is is the money that you're going to spend worth it? You know, to to be less fatigued on the water, to keep your head in the game more, to be able to, like, uh, you know, just stay focused, not super tired, not super fatigued throughout the day. Um, again, even as far as like a premium. Uh, rod goes it, it's pretty competitive in that market compared to some of the croys and some of the elk rivers like you know you're not spending much more on that end versus some of those other rods so if you're in in the market for a more premium rod i would i would definitely consider one of these um i i really enjoy these rods granted i can't speak to some of the other rods that i fish because i just I, I, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like I started with the original assault sticks, loved them. They were great for me. They were great for what I do. I was able to get my hands on a couple 2020s. So again, they were great for me. I, I love the way that they do their thing. It, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So again, just like all the other chaos stuff, these rods are telescopic. Again, I like that a lot. Some people may not, but again, there's just a variety of options to weigh. Um, so that's kind of just the quick rundown of those things. I guess if, if you are curious about the setups that I use and why I use them, I could definitely do another tackle talk on that as well. Um, if you have questions about these rods or why I use these rods and in, in the capacity that I do, please, please drop a comment. Let me know. Uh, if you find this helpful, drop a comment, let me know. Um, I, I would be glad to do more. I'm no expert. That is for sure. I just, know what works for me and if i can pass along that knowledge to pe to other people out there uh that may contribute to their success then 
you know, that's, that's just what it's all about. Like just helping other people be successful at a sport that it is very difficult at times to be successful at. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me through that. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a like, uh, drop a comment, let me know. Um, and uh, if, if you wouldn't mind, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. More musky stuff is on the way. Thanks for sticking with me. Mm -hmm.